Newton Morgan, everyone. We are hitting the road this weekend. It's our first weekend in Germany. And we wanted to do a special little side trip while the leaves were still beautiful and to see something that is super high on my bucket list. We're going to do a few little things that are actually Disney inspired. So the number one location we're going to is New Schweinstein Castle which is what Cinderella's castle was inspired by. And we also found another tower that people nicknamed the Rapunzel Tower. So we're going to do both of those. This weekend, we are on the way right now. We left our little home base in Rotenburg, and now we are going to head out that way. It's about, what would you say, like two hours? Two hours. Two hours or so. So it's been an eventful morning. It was a little bit of a process to rent a car. We needed to go to a neighboring town called Ansbach. So we had to take two trains there. Our second train got delayed by an hour, but we did end up getting our rental car and it's great. It's very spacious. Meet Jurgen. Here's, meet Jurgen. Our, we are nicknaming our car Jurgen after our top tier favorite baker from uh, Great British Bake Off our German icon Jürgen. So we're naming our rental car after him. Um, it's a little, it's cute. It's an Audi, which I feel very fancy. I've never been in an Audi before. So it's great compact car. This car has so many cool features. It literally tells you what the speed limit is with this arrow. I'm going 100. Speed limit's around, what, 120, 130? Yeah, yep. it's crazy. Kilometers, by the way, not miles per hour. So yeah. what is a hundred? A hundred's only like 60, 60 something. something. Yeah. And then another fun feature is that when you put the music all the way down, like I am while I'm filming, it pauses the music for you, which I just think is so cool. So we're on the road and have just been loving it. Driving in Germany, how would you say it's going so far, Steven? Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Yeah, so far so good. We didn't really know what to expect, but half of our drive was just through beautiful forests and changing fall leaves and gorgeous. And now we're on the interstate, but still it's only two lanes. I think a lot of people get scared to drive abroad. And honestly, this is really chill. Just follow your GPS and you'll get there. So let your conscience be your guide. <laughs> <laughs> we're staying on theme, the Disney theme today. So we actually have been listening to Disney music in German during our whole drive. And that's actually been really fun and special just to hear familiar songs. Oh, it's very sunny. Just to hear some familiar songs and hear it in the language of the country that we're visiting. I think the best moment was when we were listening to Feed the Birds. What happened, Steven? 50 birds were summoned in front of the car. Yeah. We didn't hit any disclaimer, everything was safe, but you know. <laughs> no birds were harmed, but yeah. Exactly. They sang Feed the Birds in German and there were like a whole beautiful flock of birds that just like flew around our car. Life is a musical. It was Confirmed. very, it was very serendipitous, so that was cool. And we also learned Deshaun und das Beast, which is Beauty and the Beast in German. I'm learning so much German from listening to these songs. So yeah, that was a fun little tidbit. We should definitely listen to some Tangled and Cinderella music before we get there. We're about 25 minutes out from our first stop of the weekend. We're gonna start with the Rapunzel Tower and then tomorrow we'll be doing New Schweinstein. So lots of adventures ahead, buckle up and we're gonna go explore some more of Germany. We're going to see Rapunzel's Tower.
just finished up in Landsberg and that was the most wonderful, enchanting, unexpected stop ever. I'm so grateful we decided to do that. It ended up being a whole midday detour. We saw the beautiful tower that everyone calls the Rapunzel Tower, and there were just fall leaves everywhere, and they were super vibrant, oranges and yellows, and little bridges to walk through. And then there was a waterfall. Across the bridge, near the waterfall, you walked into town, and the town was just out of a fairy tale. All of the buildings were very colorful. They were setting up for Christmas markets, and although they're not open yet, there were stands everywhere. There was one booth where people were just singing whiskey in a jar. You'd think we're in Ireland, but we're actually in Germany. It was just a great blend of joy and beer. <laughs> and it was great and we got lunch at a delightful restaurant had some schnitzel for our first time here in germany as well as potato soup which i think was one of the top best foods we've had since we got here so all in all that was a great side stop and now we're on the road we're gonna go to our hotel and check in it's it's in the alps right or pretty much it's pretty much in the Alps or you can see the Alps something like that it looks like a really cute chalet I'm excited to see it but we're on the way and that'll be the next step of the journey oh my god it's the Alps oh my god Sheep Heaven Part 2. I just can't believe that. As I was literally talking about Sheep Heaven, I'm like, the only thing that's missing are sheep. And it's like, <laughs> crazy. If, if someone told me to describe Heaven, I would have been in. Yeah. And, and I'm just getting the same feeling from here. Yeah. You know? weekend extravaganza here and we woke up to the most beautiful sunrise this morning over the mountains from this hotel room i will never get over this place it's so amazing this is our view behind me right now it's insane but the sky was all pink and vibrant and incredible so that was a really special thing to witness so today the thing that we're focusing on the main event the whole reason why we're here is we're going to see new schweinstein castle which is the castle that inspired cinderella's castle over at the magic kingdom at walt disney world so this is something that's been on my bucket list forever especially since soaring around the world came out and there's a scene of it in that attraction i have wanted to see this in person for so long we saw it from afar last night when we went to the brewery restaurant that we went to and it already looked magical so I can't wait to see it in the daylight and share it all with you.
not seen me. Here we go. Wow. <sighs> Break time. <laughs> We're hiking up to some viewpoints to see New Schweinstein from above, and it's right after the bridge, and then there's this little entrance into the forest, and now we're up in the mountains. We're up in the mountains. <laughs> so, I'm a little winded, but my king brought water, <laughs> and these gloves reporting back, heat holders, these are working. Clutch. So far, so good. Thermal heating jackets. Yeah, my Clutch. Omni heat from Columbia. Yep. It's working good. This is really putting it to the test. I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> Three breaths. I know, I'm like diaphragmatic breathing right now. <laughs> what do you think of the castle? It's beautiful. It's grand. Amazing. Don't know how they built it up there. <laughs> It's amazing. I think it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's regal. Like very worth the bucket list item. For sure. The space on my bucket list, I should say. Or with the fall leaves and the snow-capped mountains in the background and... Yeah. Yeah, I would say November is actually a really good time to be here because like the bridge had people on it when we got there and then by the end there was one girl and there's no one on this path. And the leaves are vibrant. Well, people are usually on tour, so they're most likely moving because they only have a few hours here where if you have your own time, yeah, you really can just dilly-dally like we're doing right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we bought tickets for the afternoon. They only had three a 3 o'clock spot. So we bought the ticket for the afternoon. We're spending the whole morning exploring and seeing all the viewpoints, which I think is actually very smart to do because, honestly... There was only a three o'clock available, so I would have personally gotten an earlier time, but I'm glad we didn't, so we could do this. So, we're learning. We're learning. Are you looking at the snow? I'm looking at snow. Can I see it? Yeah. <laughs> bring me a leaf. I'll bring you a leaf. <laughs> Serving leaves full of snow. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, it's like that nice snow too. If there was a lot of it, you could make a snowball. There's our snow. So cute. Well, anyway, I think we're gonna continue the journey in a couple minutes, so we'll see you up there. Yeah, we're almost there. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. It's snowing. I can't let it snow yet. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. This is so magical.
This tree looks like an octopus. <laughs> We just took the bus back up to New Shrine Stay in here. And it's really, really snowing. What Jess has been waiting for. This is amazing. You can't plant stuff like this. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Cinderella wanted us to have this. The snow is gone, it's raining now. We went into the castle and did a little ticketed audio guide tour. And that was really nice. It was pretty short, but we got to walk through different rooms of the castle, see where the king had his throne room, his bed, things like that. There were a lot of cool comparisons to Cinderella Castle there, which I was really looking forward to. There was one room that had the archways and similar looking murals to when you walk under the castle at Magic Kingdom. The very last mural had like some animals and it looked kind of like a Snow White Scary Adventures type mural you'd see in the dark ride. So all that to say, it was a grand success. I'm so glad we did this. It was one of the most magical days of my entire life. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the journey with us. Until next time. Thank you.